Today we will be using layer mask in Photoshop. First thing I want you to do is open up your Photoshop program and drag and drop that place first Crocs picture alone on your workspace. Then drag the second image right on top. It'll create a second layer for you. Hit enter and you're ready to rock. Next thing we're going to do is turn down the opacity on that second image. That allows you to see both images at the same time. You can grab the move tool and then you can align your images so they are directly on top of each other. Another shortcut is command T which will allow you to transform. I need to actually shrink this image a little bit. My second image was not the exact same picture size as my first which is likely to happen. So zoom in to make sure you align those images and get them right on top of each other. Remember Jordan stepped out of her Crocs oh so carefully as to not move them at all but there's still slight adjustments as I the photographer may have moved slightly so I want to make sure I try to align these images right on top. You can see me kind of dragging the corner of this image and then kind of shuffling it around to kind of get those images right on top. The next thing you're going to do is find that layer mask tool. That is way down at the bottom. You can see me in the screen there. Then grab your paintbrush tool. You can adjust your settings up in the corner. You can adjust the size. You can also adjust the hardness of your image. Remember, make sure that layer mask tool is selected. Black is going to erase the image for you and white will bring the image back. It is much different than using an eraser because you can always go back. I want to bring up the opacity right now and just see what my edits actually look like. Oh, 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 ouch. Definitely want to double check that image. I'm going to need to make some adjustments to align my cracks so they don't look slightly off like they currently do. So here you can see me kind of cleaning up my cracks. I'm painting that black to simply bring out that image to get it aligned the way that I want. Now I'm going to adjust my brush size and pull it down a little bit so I can get some of these finer details in here to bring back that image. So I'm going to switch it to white and bring back the image right here where I want that shadow to be reinforced. I'm going to grab that zoom tool over at the side and I wanted to teach you a few tricks about zooming. You can actually slide a left to right which will allow you to zoom in or zoom out. Check it out. The other sweet option for zooming is that you can command zero, which will allow you to fit to screen in a quick little instant. Always nice for zooming out. Now we got to check those edges. Right now we have some pretty hard edges. I'm going to take my a paintbrush tool and adjust my settings, switch my color, clean those up, have those two images blend seamlessly together. You can really tell the difference over here where I'm at the light pole. You can see that image kind of coming through. Again, run it down the side, get rid of that hard edge. I'm not really loving the area on the left, so I'm going to adjust my brush size, make it a little bit bigger, and kind of pull some of that original image back in that area so it doesn't look like such a straight line. Kind of blending it and making it darker will be a great fix. I am ready to export. I've checked my image. I'm going to go File, Export As. And again, I can either select PNG or JPEG. And I can adjust that quality if I need to pull it down a little bit to make the image work with my website. If not, I'm ready to go. Click export. Decide what you would like to title your last skills practice and where the location would like to be. You're ready to save and upload to your website. Way to go.